Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark, and in this video, we're taking a look at version 4.9 of Learn Dash, which was released on the 19th of September 2023. As always, what we'll do is head to learndash.com forward slash release hyphen notes to check what's in the latest updates. It's always a good idea to check this page when any new releases come out of Learn Dash or any other plugins, really just to check the change log and see what is included in each release before you install it. So we can see here 4.9 has been released. It has a feature, an update and some bug fixes. We won't go into details about all the bug, fi bug fixes here. These are all you know, minor things that have been reported by users to LearnDash and they've sort of fixed behind the scenes and a lot of these will be sort of smaller isolated issues that we'll be unable to replicate in this video. So these are just things that they handle uh, you know, when they bring out new versions of the plugin just to keep things uh, up to date and, and maintained. What we're going to do in this video is just look at these two here. So we've got a feature and an update and the feature says, add new course dashboard with course performance metrics and data. Now, if you've got a popular platform with, with courses that you want to monitor how, you know, how popular the courses are and how much money you're making in them, then this is a good way of doing it. You might have other plugins already installed which handle this, you know, Uncanny or ProPanel bring in some of these statistics. But what LearnDash have included in this update is kind of a, a simple snapshot of your courses uh, that you can just take a look at and see broadly how they're performing. To see these, if you head to Learndash LMS and courses, and then click into a course, the first panel is now this dashboard. So in the past, you would probably have seen this as the first page. So the course page here where you would edit the you know, course pages content. But what we have is a new tab here called Dashboard, which has this information about it. And we can see here that it's nothing too granular or too detailed. It is a, it's a quick snapshot of what's going on on this course. If you do have courses for sale, you'll be able to see the lifetime sales of that, that course, how many students are on there, how many lessons, topics and quizzes are in the course how many enrollments have they've been in the last seven days, which is useful just to keep an eye on, you know, just trends of, of enrollments on the course. You get a quick view of what percentage of students have completed it or are in progress or haven't yet started it. So that gives you an idea of if you perhaps need to get in touch with some people to encourage them to start, you know, you'd be able to see this sort of information from this dashboard. And Again, if you have transactions on your system, you can see a list of these here. On the right hand side here, you can see also any newly joined students so that, you know, you can see quite quickly what's going on and who's joined quite recently and potentially contact them if you want to. So, you know, if I leave here, I can view the profile of that particular user. So as I say, it's nothing too complex or granular, this course dashboard. It is very much an overview of, of the course uh, and its performance and what's in it. If you don't already have ProPanel panel installed, it will try and get you to install that here and say one advanced course data analytics click here. And ProPanel does have a bit more on top of this more information about individual students uh, is included in ProPanel as well. So, um, you yeah, know, that's, that's the basics of that. The other update they say they've added, added here is a tweak to say, set course default access mode to free. So when you create a new course in LearnDash, under the settings, you have this course access mode here. And I believe in the past, it was set to open as the default but what they've done now is set this to free so that the course does require 
registration and enrollment to get access. So open, I think was the default before, was that the course was open and accessible by anyone, regardless of if they have a username or if they're logged in or not. But now it's set to this free, which does make sense because, you know, if you create a brand new course and forget to change that, you don't want a lot of people looking and, and checking it before it's, it's ready, potentially. They have released a, a, an update shortly after 4.9, uh, just a bug fix. And I have seen reports of potential issues with um, video progression in version 4.9. So... If you use video progression um, or, or have a, a, an active platform that you know, is quite critical in terms of uh, updates, do test this on a staging site before you apply it. That's generally a, a good good rule of thumb for any updates. So if you do have a staging platform um, or a test platform for your Learn Dash courses, try uh, you know, grid on, on that first before you use your live platform. And I'm sure... You know, if there are any issues with video progression, they'll be swept up by LearnDash very soon. So I hope you find that useful. If you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.